you represent the district, especially this one, you have to be district focused. Right. Uh, but you can't be exclusive to your district because mm -hmm. we don't live in an island. The district doesn't exist by itself. Right. So you're going to have to reach out and help others in other areas also to mm -hmm. bring about what's right and what's mm -hmm. just. And, and there's another uh, dichotomy here is that the district is, is basically the only one safe black seat in Broward County. Mm -hmm. So I can assure you that if I get there and I'm the black person, everybody who's black is going to be calling me because they do that now, <laughs> even, if when they, even when they're not in my city, okay? Somebody right. call me from Margate, they have an issue up there. I need to take care of it. So, so you, 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 you're going to have to spread right. out to do that and, 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 and work with the others. Uh, in their district as, as much as you can. And, and, and I'm not going to make it, well, if you call your district representative and they won't do it, then I'm going to say you got to go back to them, which, which is what I got before. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to work with you, okay, and, and do what I can to help as much as I can without causing any harm. Uh, because you can, it can be done. I, I mean, I remember going to Joe for stuff and we didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Good thing we had Eileen representing the other half. Mm -hmm. So we went to her, okay. Mm -hmm. and I, <clears throat> It's your job to, to, to do whatever it is to, to assist them to have a better life. And, 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 and when we lose that, then we lose everything. Because the most important thing for us to do is know that the public that we serve is first. Not ourselves, not our special interest group, not our egos. Uh, on that line, I want to ask you about the, the question number five, the answer, the weaknesses, and the identify that the, the county government is too parochial in these districts or little fiefdoms. And, I mean, that's just the way it is. And, you know, period, end of discussion, and whether it was meant to be that way or not, that's, that's, the that's what we get. Yes. So the question is, then, given that that's the, the atmosphere, number one, would you support a strong mayor ballot? I, I, I would support a, a, a mayor. I don't know if I have a strong mayor. There's some pluses and minuses on a strong mayor. Okay, there's a, a, a countywide mayor. A county mayor. A countywide more, mayor. More yeah, I think that's the term that we're using. More, exactly. Right. More, more, more palatable in terms right. of a county mayor. Because uh, one guy could get too strong headed and right. run rough shot over anyone else. So long as it doesn't dilute the voting block of the minorities in the county. If meaning, you, meaning you add it rather than taking away. That's the, correct. If you take away, then what will happen is this you got one. African American, you had one Hispanic there in a mm -hmm. county that's approaching sixty percent minority. <laughs> it, that, that's that doesn't add up in my in, in my equation. And that's your that job to, to, to do whatever it is to to assist them to have a better life. And and, and and when we lose that, then we lose everything. Because the most important thing for us to do is know that the public that we serve is mm -hmm. first, not ourselves, well, not our special interest group, not our egos. Uh, on that line, I want to ask you about the, the question number five, the answer, the weaknesses, and to identify that the, the county government is too parochial in these districts or little fiefdoms. And, I mean, that's just the way it is. And, you know, period, end of discussion. And whether it was meant to be that way or not, that's, that's, the that's what we get. Yes. So the question is then, given that that's the, the atmosphere, number one, would you support a strong mayor? I, I, I would support a, a, a mayor. I don't know if I have a strong mayor. There's some pluses and minuses on a strong mayor. Okay, there's a, a, a countywide mayor. A county mayor. A county more, mayor. More yeah, I think that's the term that we're using. More, exactly. Right. More, more, more palatable in terms right. of a county mayor. Because uh, one guy could get too strong headed and right. run rough shot over anyone else. So long as it doesn't dilute the voting block of the minorities in the county. If meaning, you, meaning you add it rather than taking away. That's the, correct. If you take away. Then what will happen is this: you got one African American, you had one Hispanic there in a mm -hmm. county that's approaching sixty percent minority. <laughs> it, that, that's that doesn't add up in my in, in my equation. And yes. 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 We have, we have uniforms, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uniforms. You know, part of being a leader is you know, you have to be prepared to take the hits mm -hmm. and, and make the tough and hard decision. Uh, of course, I meet with him and go through everything, but at the end of the day. It's going to be who utilize the, the, the public medium to convince folks that what needs to be done is what has to be done. Mm -hmm. And if we have to cut, we have to cut. Uh, and, 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 and I'm not saying that it, it's not tough. It is yeah. tough. In Lord Hill, it was tough. When we met yesterday to do our budget, the firefighters came in. Mm -hmm. Firefighters came in. Right. All in their yellow shirts. Okay, Probably about 40 of them. I don't know if we had any left pocket, but I mean a large number, largest amount that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Okay, we put one person back on, but they wanted seven mm -hmm. to go back on. Okay, so that we could have an extra fire engine mm -hmm. 
uh, the, 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 the city manager and, and the fire chief says, it's not, we don't really have to have this. We can function without it. So we went with that. And that's the hard decision that together. Happened. There would be our number one or number two trading partner because Dominican Republic is a part of it uh, and all the other islands. You would be at probably $10, $12 billion in, 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 in trade opportunities mm -hmm. with these nations. And we're selling most of it to them and buying less from them. And when their economy grew again, we, we grew and develop. So that's, that's a big piece of what we need to do there. There are other things that we need to do also. Am, are you, am I yeah. Move on. Okay. Uh, the, the area in terms of uh, the educational opportunities need to be enhanced, especially in the technical training area. Uh, there was a point in time when Bill had had a fairly decent uh, technical center there. We got to look to see how we attract that in. And we can work with our churches also with literacy programs. I got a program that I put together on a shoestring over at Driftwood, what's, what was called Driftwood Terrace Apartment. It's now called Lottie Hill Point. It's at the corner of 31st Avenue and 19th Street. And we're getting folks there, GED in there. And, and the funny thing happened, uh, you might be aware of that complex. Okay, when the folks get their GED, they get better jobs and move up. Okay, so that's when, when, when someone can earn a little bit more. Bill Gates is the richest man in America. He doesn't have a college degree, but he was functional literate. literate. I read from your paper some years ago that 85% of the people in prison in Dade and Brock County have no GED high school diploma, and 45% can't read your paper. Uh, so if we can build on that, that's an op not a development opportunity that we have. Uh, and less money we're going to spend putting people in jail. Good, well, well, I told you one place where we can get some of the money. Well, you said the TDC. The TDC is one place we, we can use that. We have money that we're spending already uh, to bring and lower businesses into town. Mm -hmm. I say let's put a portion of that to look into the international marketplace. Mm -hmm. Uh, because that's that's where we got to grow, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so that's another av avenue yeah. for us to do it. Here's some other things that we can do in a budget. Lord Hill, we just uh, finished our budget workshop yesterday, mm -hmm. and we had to cut a few positions. Most of them were vacant, but we had to cut a couple. And sometimes you have to do that. But what has happened over the past three years is we have right-sized the ship, and sometimes we got to do that. Technological use is, is another thing. I have a report here. Uh, that, that I got from online that talked about Broward County enhancing its technological platform and putting mm. everybody pretty much on one platform. That's going to be a cost savings there that we can do. And as you do that, you'll be able to reduce your cost. But here's something else you can do uh, that I suggested to our city manager about three years ago that we are in implementation. And the first year we saved $2 million was to have incentive program for early retirement. I, I don't know which one of the paper it is today that said I don't know if it's you or the, or the Herald, that says basically many people at retirement have no savings. Okay, so here's what we do. We say, okay, you reach retirement age, you might want to retire, but you can't because you have no cushion. We give you a cushion. Okay, now what we do is that person who is the highest end mm -hmm. of the salary ladder is out. And we, we tighten the ship from inside and, and, and cross-train people mm -hmm. and, and, and basically cut out as much overlap as we possibly can. And, and I think there's, there's some there. I'm sure there's a good amount. Mm -hmm. uh, but to go back to your question, it's an investment that you have to make. And it's, it's a hard one. I'm in the real estate business, and you guys know what happened to the real estate business. My door's still open because I made an investment. I made an investment mm -hmm. in getting into the REO business, the real estate-owned business by banks. Okay, When I didn't have a lot, not, not, not a whole lot going, I took some money and I joined some organization and I went on some trips in order to meet with these folks mm -hmm. to the extent now that I'm okay, okay, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> because I'm no, so, so you've got to make investment in business in order to get the return, especially when things are tough, because if you just sit there and do nothing, you're going to be crushed.